So actually the title, Cooking With Love, and I was trying to think of what would be the title for my book. I thought every time I cook, I think of the love that I have for the people that I'm preparing for. I think about my childhood and how blessed I was and the experience I had while my parents cooked and even more so when I got to eat the food that they made that was delicious. And when you're cooking your own food, you won't have to worry about what's actually in it, the preservatives and things that could be a hindrance to your health. I get fresh ingredients most of the time. I get the tomatoes, I grow my own tomatoes, fresh herbs. It just tastes, it enhances the flavors of your food and it's so much healthier for you. So the cookbook is not only just my fond memories, but it's a piece of love, a dash of love that I take my memories, my thoughts, and I pour it into my food and then I share it with others and they become a part of that memory. I had asked my husband Charles one time, I said, babe, what's your definition of love? Because I knew that was gonna be in the title of my book. And he just smiled and he said, Willie. And I bust out laughing because I thought, you're really right because I'm giving a piece of me to everyone else with love, cooking with love. Okay, now it's summertime, it's hot, or it can be cold. This is the perfect dessert that people will simply love. It's key lime pie. Mmm, a little tart, a little sweetness, just right. And it is so delicious. You have six, or should I say five key limes, or limes, and you're just gonna zest it. I've already zested four other ones. I'm going to zest this one here, and then we'll squeeze all the juice out. And this is so delicious. And then you just take it. I'm going to put it with the rest of the lime that I already zest. So when you hear zest, that's what it means. It means you take the lemon or the lime, wherever the recipe calls for, and you're going to take it all the way around, and you're going to grate it. And that's what you actually call zesting. You just use it. Now I'm going to cut this in half. I have this wonderful squeezer here for either lemon or limes that you can squeeze the juice out without all the hard work. And I just take it and just take it around and I squeeze it. And I squeeze all the juice that way. If there's any seeds, it will catch it and you won't get seeds in your delicious pie that you serve. You can make this in advance put it in the freezer and you can actually keep it up to two weeks. So whenever you have guests come over, you worked all day, you come home and you offer them a piece of dessert and they try to figure out, now how did she make this dessert? Did she go to the store and buy this? No, you actually made it with love, with a dash of love. Okay, so to make this key lime pie, you take the juice from the five limes and you put it in your bowl now, I've already melted one square of white chocolate. This is the secret ingredient here, is the white chocolate. You never knew that that was in the key lime, did you? So we got that. And I've already put in the gelatin, where I took gelatin, one teaspoon of gelatin, and three tablespoons of warm water. That helps it to set and gel. Now I'm going to take my Cream cheese, three, eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna actually put this in the mixer. I'm pouring it in. Just pour it all in there. We're gonna mix this as nice and creamy. Oh, this is so delicious. So we already got the, the limes in there, the five limes. Pour it all in, just take it all in. You got the white chocolate, you got the gelatin, and now we are ready to mix. Okay, this key lime pie is so easy to make, it's delicious, and you want to whip it to it's nice and smooth, and the consistency is nice and fluffy. And we're going to pour it into two. You can make your own shell, which is in my cookbook, Cooking with Love. I'll show you how to make graham cracker crust. But you can just take two pre-made shells that you get from the store that's already ready, and then we're gonna scoop it in, and then I have something special I'm gonna show you in one second. 
So as you can tell, take a look. It's nice and smooth in there. It's really, really easy to do. Can I go around my edges and make sure I get everything well blended. Okay. I just got a little piece off the edge here. I'm gonna taste it. And now, mmm, it's good. Now we add the sugar. That gives the sweetness to it. So while it is beating, we're gonna add one and a half cup of sugar. So we pour that in while it's beating. There we go. That gives it the sweetness. Remember we said a little bit of sweet with the tartness? I take it around. I'm gonna taste it again, make sure I just got the right amount of sweetness. If it's not sweet enough, I can always add a little bit more. But you start with one and a half cups. That's usually just right. I've done it so many times, so I have it down to a science. The final thing we want to add is the zest from the key lime. And we're just going to toss that in. That gives it that nice, pretty green color. We added the zest from the key lime, and that gives it that nice, green color that's going to just be little bites that you will enjoy every time you take a bite of the key lime pie. Now let's see. Mmm. Mmm. That is so delicious. We're ready to pour it into the pie shells. Now before you pour it in, a key piece of this is you leave at least two tablespoons in the mixing bowl. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So I pour half in one pie shell. Just kind of move it around. And I pour the other half in the other pie shell, leaving, remembering to leave at least. Wow, see how nice and smooth that is? The consistency is real nice and pretty. And put some more in there. And I have at least, I'm eyeing this pretty much, but I can tell I have at least two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. You'll see why we did that. I spread it around nice and even. Oh, this is so good. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Cooking with love is all about putting all the love that you have for family and friends together. And when you're making these desserts, I'm thinking about the people who are gonna actually eat it and all the pleasure they're gonna have when they bite into this key lime pack. So now, here is the special piece that we do. You take some Cool Whip, and you're gonna pour this Cool Whip into the same mixing bowl that you had the two to three tablespoons of the flavor already in there. So this is gonna go on top of your pie get all that in there as much as I can. This is one container, like an 8 to 12 ounce container or Cool Whip that you want to use. If you make it more pies, you can double up on the recipe. It's in Cooking with Love. I'm locking it in, the mixer. Now I'm going to mix it just for a couple of minutes. And all that flavor, so really you got two layers of flavor here is going to be in your pie. So they go on the top layer, it's going to have one taste. It's going to be a very hint taste of that lemon lime, that lime flavor. Then you go down deeper, it's wow, delicious. Take a little taste. Mmm, very good. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread it over top of the pies. This is so delicious. See how nice and fluffy it is? Okay, so I take it, I take half on this pie. I'm gonna put the other half on this pie. So you're actually getting two layers of key lime at two different textures that is gonna be so delicious. And you just wrap it around there. Look how beautiful that is. It is too pretty to eat, but we're going to eat it. <laughs> Look 
Okay, now we're done with our pads. We're going to set them in the freezer. And then I'm going to show you what a finished product looks like. Three to four hours, and they will be done. Now, let's just see what one tastes like and how it looks. I'm going to cut it. Now, you want to let it sit for a little bit because it's still a little bit frozen because it's been sitting in the freezer. But if you let it sit out for about 10, 15 minutes while your guest is eating, eating the rest of their meal, let's take it, scoop it out, and you set it right there. Mm. And you see how nice it looks. Isn't that pretty? That is so good. Now, it passed a pretty look. How about the taste? Let's see. This key lime pie, I just can't stop eating it. Mmm. This is so good. I'm telling you, I would run to the store, get that cookbook, my cookbook, Cooking with Love. And as you can tell as you taste, it's with a dash of love. You will enjoy it. In the summertime, fall, winter, it's all seasonal. See you later.